Hi, this is Dr. Mary Gellum. I'm the host of the local television show, Leadership Table Talk, and I'm the owner of Premier Strategic Solutions, LLC. Well, today I want to take five minutes, just five minutes of your time to talk about leadership principles. And what I've decided to do is to take the 20 leadership attributes that I put in this game that I developed many years ago called the Leadership Build Zone when I was at Georgetown University. And I want to just talk about each of those principles and a single video. And so video number one, I'm going to share with you the leadership principle that I think every leader, every leader, whether you are leading a for-profit or non-profit, you need to be a visionary. We have all heard the saying, without a vision, the people, what? They perish. What that means is that they flounder because there is no roadmap of where the organization is going. And so if you're going to be a successful leader, you have got to be a visionary. You've got to be able to share that vision of where you want the organization to go with your team, your organization. I remember on many occasions when I was the uh, chief information officer and the director of information technology for the largest air logistics center in the Air Force because my background is in the telecom IT business. And so one of the things that I always did was develop a strategic plan. But in that plan, I always spelled out the vision that I had for the organization because I knew that if I did not do that, the organization would have been wondering, the people, my, you know, guys and gals working for me would have said, where is she going? Where does she want us to go? And so if you want to get buy-in in the organization, regardless of where it is that you're working or leading, you have to have a vision. So if you want the people to follow you, establish the vision. Let them know where you are going, where it is that you want the organization to go. And you know, when it comes down to vision, it's not just for leaders. As individuals, we can have visions for where we want to go in our own lives. You know, I'm constantly doing vision maps and, and going through and sharing, you know, even just posting in my own office and my house where I would like to go. But as a Christian, I always say, Lord, where is it that you want me to go? Where are you leading and guiding me? taking me because I want to make sure that I'm aligned with whatever God has for me. That's how I live my life. And so I, I will share this with you as a leader. If you want to lead and, and be the kind of leader that others will want to follow, be a leader with a vision so that they will have an understanding of where you want the organization to go and they can buy into it. And, and so a lot of times, you know, as I've worked with clients over the years, there have been those who have had visions and there have been leaders who did not have a clear vision of where they wanted the organization to go. And so as we worked on that, I was able to help them to develop the vision because they have to have a better understanding of where it is the organization is going or where you want it to go. And so you have to be able to map that out, map it out based on what it is that you want to accomplish. And, and so I, I, I just love doing these kinds of things. You know, I've loved leadership. I was in the uh, executive leadership program over at Georgetown University, but I've led many organizations. I'm a retired colonel in the Air Force, and I'm a former member of the Senior Executive Service Corps with the Department of Defense at the Pentagon. So I've had uh, lots of opportunities to lead, you know, as an uh, uh, entrepreneur, many times over, but I just love helping people to grow in their leadership skills and talents. And so please go to my website, premierstrategicsolutions.com, or you can go to drmarygillum.com, drmarygillum.com. And so again, this is Dr. G, and I'll see you again next time in the next video on leadership. Bye-bye for today.